I actually love the city of Phoenix. You know, I first moved out here, then my brother moved with me, and I was like, dude, we're really like living on the West Coast. Like, this is unbelievable. When we were growing up in Michigan, you know, you hear about the West Coast, but it's like a it's like a myth. I tell people this all the time that I could actually see myself living here in the future. I remember when I first got to Phoenix, you know, people always say, you know, pick your vets' brains apart. So I asked Tyson, I said, what's one piece of advice that you wish you knew when you were a rookie in the NBA? He said, taking care of your body is key. You know, obviously it worked for him, so, you know, I try to get a jump start on it. You know, you have to do everything the training staff tells you to do. You know, we're hearing it from Tyson, 15-year vet in the game, and I figured that out quick. And then now I see, you know, a lot of the youngsters I'm careful with what I say to him because you understand how huge your words are to him and the type of impact that it could have on their life. This year, you know, I've had a few coaching changes from the assistant coach leaving first and now the head coach. I remember being at Kentucky and them preparing us for this situation and they explained the business of the NBA on how it's a cutthroat league, so unpredictable, you never know what's gonna happen. You know, whatever they're doing upstairs, you can't control that, you can only control your actions. Kind of slowing down, slowing down, and not really shooting with any assertiveness. Shoot to make. At times like this is when you really gotta own up to being a vet and, you know, kind of showing your leadership. Stay home! Stay home! Hey, he was ready. He was gonna get to the rim. You know, my father played professional, and you know, he loves the game of basketball. You know, that's why I made him get along so well. You know, he taught me the grind. I'm on cloud nine right now to watch his progress and watch him work, you know, because it's always been a dream of his when he was a little kid. And, well, you know, I just sold my house back home, and I just took the Kevin Durant fathead off his wall like a month ago, and just the other night, he was out there on the court battling against Kevin Durant. So, you know, it's a surreal feeling to see my son out there compete against the guys he used to, you know, look up to and idolize. You know, I can't complain about being a rookie, being the youngest player to ever be in a three-point contest. You know, these are my dreams coming true. And then with the competition field that's in there, with the Steph Currys, you know, arguably the best shooter ever, you know, good to compete against him. That's everything I'd ever asked for. So, you know, hopefully I perform well. Playing Golden State always is, you know, it gives you that, that extra energy. You know, it's not just from the players, from the coaching staff, from the trainers, you know, from the fans. You know, they are the best team in the NBA right now. thing with older players and younger players is younger players feel like it's it's about numbers you know get mine get mine older players understand it's about winning you know my rookie year is like yeah you know I'm putting up numbers you know I, I'm starting to play I'm starting to get playing time now and we still were dead last <laughs> sorry you know at the bottom of the totem pole so you, you learn 